Your dad's actually the little priest hole. I did hear that. Yeah, a thud and a scrape. Yeah. No. What was that? Shuffling. That was right behind you. Yeah, imagine, you just imagine it in its heyday. Layers of history covered with a plethora of paranormal claims, the oldest building in Portsmouth brings Spiral back to the south coast as we team up with the pigs for a welcome return to Wimmering Manor. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is a new introduction uh, to one of our Spiral Paranormal episodes we did back in 2017. Um, with the PIGS team, the Paranormal Intelligence Gathering Service, down at one of my favourite locations, which is Wimmering Manor uh, in Portsmouth, or near Portsmouth. Fantastic location, one of my favourites, along with Mitchell and Priory. Not just really for paranormal phenomena, because um, I don't think anywhere it's haunted more than anything else, you know. Um, but it's just uh, an incredibly historic place. Um, so this is from, I think, the summer of 2017, when uh, myself, Mandy and Kerry, join Tim and the Pigs team down in uh, Wimmering Manor and it was a very interesting evening. Cue titles. area around Wimmering Manor was once a Roman settlement, but the name Wimmering may have derived from Wim, a Saxon tribal leader who lived here around 400 AD. The original manor belonged to Edward the Confessor after the Battle of Hastings in 1066, with the area of Wimmering mentioned in the Doomsday Book in 1086. The manor's current structure, however, is early 16th century, although the cellar is reputedly Saxon in origin. The house has had many owners and tenants over the years, with much renovation and rebuilding being added to its original structure. In recent times, Portsmouth City Council owned Wimmering Manor for over 40 years, where it was leased to the Youth Hostel Association. Since 2013, the manor has been managed by the Wimmering Manor Trust, and through generous grants and donations, continued renovation and repairs are being done to return this historic house to its former glory. Of course, Wimmering Manor is a well-known location for its alleged paranormal activity, with many investigations having been done on the back of reports of strange activity from within its ancient walls. Many people have sensed or seen children on the upper floors, as well as hearing their laughs and cries. Four apparitions have been witnessed, along with strong presences being felt throughout the building. I have worked and investigated here many times, so it's a familiar location to myself and the team. Our last visit was back in 2010, which was filmed for a previous episode, and resulted in Mandy witnessing her first apparition of a man on the stairway. I swear, absolutely, completely swear that I saw somebody standing over there, really, really clearly. And I was happy to have her and Kerry return with me seven years later. On this investigation, we have joined up with The Pigs, the Paranormal Intelligence Gathering Service, and a team we have known for many years, although this is our first investigation together. Our investigations are all about trying to gather evidence. Um, we go through the motions of uh, the experiments that you probably typically find on these type of investigations, but for us it's all about gaining something more, the evidence that we can look at, replay, after it's been recorded, to try and piece together, you know, the mystery is, is it haunted, and if it is, by why is it consistent? Is it, there's lots of unanswered questions, but that's the mission anyway. Brilliant. So you're actually, you're actually um, going through the footage, looking at everything, analysing it, like it's like a police crime scene. Absolutely, yeah. it is a pre it is a, it would even treat it in that way. We have a you know, witness statements and incident board which is behind us. Um, we have everything we do is recorded in some way. Mm -hmm. Every single location that people visit has got some kind of evidence collection going on. Um, and even when it's the traditional stuff, you know, there's lots of traditional methods that people use to communicate, if you like, with the ghosts or spirits, um, which is fine, but it's personal experience, it's not evidence. So we try and collect evidence on top of that, obviously using 
video and audio and, and what have mm. you as well. It's a principle we sometimes get is you no, know, people have a personal experience, you can't really take that personal experience away from them, but sure. is it evidence? Let's well, it's, it's evidence to them, but it's not evidence to everyone else because there's always the interpretation of the suggestion that could have happened, etc. So. Tim Brown of the Pigs has set up some interesting experiments and equipment around the building, including full CCTV coverage, a Kinect experiment, plus an original Frank's box, a device that scans radio white noise frequencies as a channel for possible spirit communication. I have been critical of this kind of device in the past, but was happy to give it another go. With Mandy being a raw psychic, an ability she's had since childhood, I'll be intrigued to see what she picks up on tonight, although she is already aware of the many unexplained reports here. We start the investigation on the top floor, with a team consisting of Mandy, Kerry and myself, along with Tim and Ben of the Pigs. So this is just a really simple audio recorder. Just in the top room, and do a bit of EVP. I'd like to ask you if you used to live in this house. If you used to live in this house. Okay. Um, I'm Mandy and I would like to know if you are standing just behind Mark in that corner right now. Um, I was just wondering whether you um, are here all the time or whether you come and go um, and if there's more than one of you here with us now. You just said something there, what are you sensing here? Just a feeling, that's all, nothing more. Nothing just more. The, that sort of where you have to keep looking. There's nothing there, I can't see anything but I can just feel that there might be somebody watching us. Okay. It's interesting to note that there's a, there's a doorway behind where Mark is stood and I think it would be worth somebody going into that area mm. with an EVP recorder, yet yeah, and, and just try and have Great a direct idea. conversation with, with whoever you, you might feel. Okay. Do you want a torch or not? No, I'm all right, as long as I... I'm not going to fall down any holes. There's a bench it? at the back and okay. just into a little alcove on the room. Do you want to shut the door? She's crying. <laughs> right, uh, pub everyone. <laughs> I just felt sad. We felt sad in there. Can I just point just out sad. something? When we came here with, um, oh god, this is 2009, I think it was, with David Wells, we did a private little tiny, only four of us, me, Mark, no, David Wells, Nori. Oh, um, wow. in, they, they also felt there were children in here and also a very, very, very sad atmosphere in this in the room. There's a lot of children around up here and mm. the, the, the kids, there's a lot of children here who haven't had good times and I'm not talking recent history because it did mm. used to be a youth hostel and it's nothing at all to do with that. Right. It's much, much further back than that. There's a lot of children died here or what, there's, young a children? Children, there's, a, when, there's a lot of people of children um, miscarried here or, or aborted here as well way back in its past. I was just going to say I feel mm. sick. Yeah. I actually genuinely was about to say that I felt quite sick. Quite That's the perfect word, nauseating. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very much yes. so. It's got that sort of twist gut wrench in there. <laughs> yeah. When I walked around here earlier with um, one of the ladies that's visited, who's very sensitive, um, not a medium, but sensitive, and she came to here and she said, oh, it's interesting that you said exactly the same. Well, not only were you said you mentioned the sadness in the oh. other room, yeah, this is a different, totally different energy. It's still sad and it's still sick, but it's like sick children, like little ones. It's disorientating mm. a bit as well as we're looking around. Yeah. Another sound experiment to see if we can capture any kind of voices on the assumption that we may be talking to children. So, mm -hmm. yeah. hello, is, it, it, can you hear my voice? Can you say hello? Hello, is, it, it, can you hear my voice? Can you say hello? I've got four children at home and I think that 
they might like to come and talk to you one day too. Would you like that? Would you like that? If you're here, is, is there, are you on your own? Or is there more than one of you playing here? Sit around in the end. In here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Into where we just come from um, because people are feeling a stronger energy. <laughs> Some toys with you. Now listen, when I was standing there earlier, I felt like somebody brushed on my arm, but I didn't say anything because I'd already said enough. But when we were just standing there, we'd first come in here and we were talking about it feeling mm -hmm. sad in here, but a different sad in there and stuff. Something brushed down my arm. I thought it was a spider, but I wasn't sure, and I just kept quiet. But right there, where you are pointing that thing. Spirit, was it you who touched her arm? Spirit, was it you who touched her arm? Just turn off the front spots for a while. I'm just gonna see if we can get one coming through. Just turn off the front spots for a while. I'm just gonna see if we can get one coming through. I'm just gonna see if we can get one coming through. I'm just gonna see if we can get one coming through. Come on, if you're here watching us, don't be afraid of us. We've come to visit. If this was your classroom. Could you make a noise where you used to sit? Could you make a noise where you used to sit? Okay, well, now. On the first floor. There's a one room they still haven't done much with, unfortunately. Yeah, that's actually the little priest hole. Oh, is it actually? Really interesting, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. On the second floor. Oh, yeah. The door's open by itself, but apparently because I'm just opened it. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. This is the Connect experiment. Oh, we're doing the Connect. Oh, yeah, we're all alone. Excellent. So, <laughs> we'll go through to have a look where we've got the head unit of the Connect set up. Um, so we'll all go and have a look at that. And what we'll do, we'll take in... What's that noise, Did you, did you so want, None of us have moved. If you do that, does it make a... It's like yeah. something rolled across the floor. It did sound like a... I don't hear that. Ball. We've had some quite good results in this room before. Yeah, yeah I did hear that. I didn't hear that yeah. too. Well, if we go and have a look at the Connect room, then we'll see the area. And what we'll do is we'll, one person can stay in there will come out and observe and that person that's in there can ask to see if they can get any kind of interaction or come and accompany them, sit next to them, that sort of thing. Now what we want to happen is for another picture to appear next to Ben, if we can, if we can ask anything to come and accompany Ben. Would you like to come sit down next to me? Anyone in this room? Come have a chat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a table lifted off the ground here back in oh God, 2008. Actually, I'm, I'm still finding I can't explain. And when she was asking all those questions yeah. and 
how many of us were in here? Uh, about eight. Eight and six of us wrote the same yeah. answers. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. There's a mirror in the corner, I think. So I'm just going to put the, the, the while the experiment's going on, the connecting experiment, we'll see where we are. Sorry, let's just go. Oh, it's not. It's a, not a mirror in the corner. There's a hole in the wall and a window behind yeah. the oh, next see, room. Yeah. I see. No access. We can't go in there, so that's fair enough. Uh -oh. Was it like a dumb waiter or something? It looks like it, yeah. This could have been a dumb waiter, I think. Yeah. That would make sense mm. where we are, would it? This would be serpent quarters, wouldn't it? So, yeah, good bit parked over there. And that's the back of the house, or it could have been the front of the house, oh, actually. Oh, there's steps that's going down there, like fire escape yes. steps. Just getting my bearings, mm. I get very confused. This place is awesome and I love yeah, it it's great so time. much. I've had a great time. I'd love to go in there, but I know I'm not allowed, so I won't. I'm not sure. I'm not going to fall through the ceiling. Yeah, because it yeah, reflects through there. Yeah, I don't want to. Put the room there, like this is... This is a two rooms, isn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah it's, a, it's a great room, so... Yeah. Brilliant fire, thanks. Yeah, you imagine, you just yeah. imagine it in its heyday. Total I mean, uh, lifting of the atmosphere. Yeah, I'm, I've, yeah, absolutely fine. It's just lovely. Okay, should we, should we have a go at a bit of glass moving? Yeah. yeah. Why not? Yeah. yeah. We must look really silly to you. Are you wondering what we're doing? <laughs> we're wondering ourselves, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we're all friends here. Yeah? There you go. Did it just move? It's still going. It's still going. Yeah. Yeah. If that's you doing that, can you stop now? Wow. Can you stop making the flash? Oh, <gasps> well done, Spur. That's amazing. Thank you. You're so clever. You've done that before. Right. It's just sorry for our sceptical minds. Um, oh, there you go. Thank you. Fantastic. Can we have a red light, please? Can we have a red light? Come really close. Come on. Stand really close. Can you really go all the way to red? You did before, you did really well before. Could you do that again for us? The first half the alphabet. No, okay. Okay, does it come from the second half of the alphabet? Yes, okay. It's 25, isn't it? What would that be? First half, anything up to M. Okay, L. How about M, I think? L or M? Margaret? Mary? Is it an M? Does your name start with an M? And then, flash towards all of you. Is it an N? Have I gone past it or should I keep going? Oh, that's a double worthy question. Does it begin with a P? Do you recognise Mandy from when she came before? She goes to the white light for yes. Maybe she wants to talk to you rather than. Would you like to talk to Mandy? Do you need more of our energy to do so? I think because it's not an even surface, is it? No, it's, it's not. Bad. Quite smooth. It's not, it's not too bad. Try two. There you go. Two people. Yeah. Are you moving back to the middle? Or move the glass back, sorry, yeah. you. Okay. Thank you so much for doing this. This is absolutely fantastic. Do you like still being here? Fantastic. That's Thank good. Whoa. Good to so hear. Is there more people like you in this room? Yes. How many? Are there more than five of you in the room? That'd be a lot. No. Are there more than two of you in the room? Are there two of you in the room? Yes. Thank you. Two in the room. So thank you. So Hello there. So I you know there, I sometimes think, well, it may go down to two. Are you both young ladies? <laughs> no, okay. Are you 18? Yeah. Yes. Uh, 18? 18. Good age. Good age. Do you know what year you were born? Fantastic. That's going to be tricky to sort of get out. But... 
Well, I find quite fascinating about observing this from a camera point of view is that when it's moving around, I can see all your fingers obviously on the glass, but, but you're not. I'm not saying you're going to push it, but what I'm saying is your fingers are so loosely on it, the glass is moving away from your fingers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you take say, sorry to interrupt. No, go for it. Say, look. You can you actually, you, you can't you can't you actually push can you that. The table would wobble before That's you were able to push it. You shouldn't be doing it like that, can you? No. It. But that way... No, the only time it, when I did it by mistake, I put my finger there and then I looked away and, and flipped it, it down. Yeah, yeah. But you can't yeah. keep doing that no. without... You can't, I can't go forward without pushing it from here like that. I can't do no. that. 1880s? Okay. What was that? 1880s. 1880s. 1880s? Yes. Oh yeah, very yes, okay. Um, so, 1880s, okay. That's fantastic, thank you. Thank you so thank you. much. Did you, Did you die in this room? Oh, in this room? Oh. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Think, Mark, think, 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 think. Oh, I was having a turn. Are you okay? Scarlet fever. Whoa. Oh, there you go, scarlet fever. Oh, yeah. Sorry, so I'm just following the class round the table. It's interesting actually here, when we said before so that things take off in this room, and it is this room yeah. again. Mm -hmm. And how old was the boy? How old is the boy that you want to find out about? Was he under five? Was he over five years old? There you go, nothing in here. Yeah, and I can, un under I can the table. Nothing underneath. Yeah. Uh, nothing here. And this is just a case that we chuck under just to make it a bit higher. It's only the second time I've really been impressed with glasswork. Something I'm, I'm, the problem is I'm too critical about things. I'm not surprised. Still, yeah, I'm still, still very open minded to yeah, it. I'm not yeah. open minded at all. But I need to see it, and that was very, very, very mm. good. Okay, we've had a break, and we're now in the cellar, a place um, which has been very interesting over the years. We've had a lot of activity down here and some good reading. So um, let's see how we get on with these fine folk. Was the K2s there as well, just to get any kind of flashes we could. We've got an EVP recorder down here, but another cool piece of kit that's down here is the EDI machine. The EDI. Now, what we're looking at here is it's measuring vibration, also temperature and humidity, but it's logging all of that stuff. Yeah, sorry, did anyone hear that? Yeah, did you yeah. hear that in there? Uh, did you? I did hear that. Yeah, a thud and a scrape. Yeah, it could be pulled upstairs, so... No, 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 that was down. Okay, let's go look. That's definitely down. Hello, is anyone here, please? Could be a rat. It was like a shuffle and Yeah, it was in here. It was like a, it was a scrape. It was like, like, yeah. But on gritty. It's too heavy for like a It's like that. Any rats in here? I actually ordered rat, it. I heard that as well. Rat. And I think the great thing is well, we can ask him as well. The camera on so that we can look at the audio track. Yeah. Which is this upstairs. Yeah. That's that, it didn't sound like that. Let's see if we've got anything from that. Okay. So if we see these blue lights flash on here, similar to the K2, it's, 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 right. it's reading uh, EMF or electromagnetic fields. Okay. Vibrations. People often say, oh, it feels like the table's vibrating. If that happens, we'll see it. Mm -hmm. We'll know if it is or not. Can you get the torch on or off? And this was where Tim was. Anyone here would like to communicate with us? Shit. Please, can you come? There is somebody upstairs. There is people out there. I do apologise. Can you affect one of us? Tap the table here, wooden table. Anything to get? I'll make the light move on the little device. The one I'm pointing to here. Found more out there, yeah. yeah. Was that you making the noise earlier on? Uh, what's really good about uh, the Pigs team 
They do a lot of it, it's science based, a lot of it's equipment based, but they still go old school on some stuff as well, which is really cool. So we try some automatic writing. If that man's here, could you come talk to us? I know you might be reserved about it, but I could ask you some questions. Would you rotate anti clockwise for no and clockwise for yes? Would that be better? No. Oh. Yes, okay. So you prefer rotating. No. What? No. Shuffling. That was right behind you. It was. Shuffling feet. Is that you shuffling behind that? Hopefully, yes. camera. Come on. Thank you very That's much. Fantastic. Thank you. Can I just ask, man? Did you sense anyone down here, or are you just focused on nothing? nothing? Thanks for talking to oh, us. What's in there? Did you see something? What the f***? Did you hear that? Did you see it? Can you see something? Rashid. Oh, we heard a noise in there just now. <laughs> <laughs> shuffling over there. Did, you, did, you, did, you, did you make that fantastic noise? So this whole room is got concrete everywhere. Mm. Like, yeah, we definitely heard. It was like a sound. I mean, obviously those things fall down. The very nature that they're all over here means they fall off the wall, but... If we throw this in the next room in a minute, would you throw it back to us? That would be quite cool. I'm going to throw it down the end here. Can you throw it back? I'm going to throw it down the end here. Can you throw it back? Don't be shy, we're all friends here. We'll be down here before. Please come and join us. As it's a bit quiet down here, we're going to go up into, uh, into the garden and go up in dowsing rods. Tim, just what did you just say to me, Tim? Okay, rumour has it, when we first took this, invest, this location on to do, we heard lots of things about it, and one of which was that there's something is buried in the grounds. Now, on the way down here tonight, oh. Mandy, what did you tell me? that I had an overwhelming feeling that there's something buried here. But where those houses are, where I parked, mm. well, where you parked my car. Because the garden would have extended and the grounds would have extended. And I said, that's <coughs> where the people are buried. Yeah. That's why you just go to shiver there, Tim. No Sorry. Idea, 17th or 18th century, but I don't know why or who or how or how many. <coughs> well, let's start by okay. trying to locate it. Then. Yeah. Let's, let's do that. If someone doesn't mind taking over camera. With this information, we head out to the garden, with myself dowsing the area for a possible burial location. I'd say let's follow it, it's done for house invasion. Yeah, there it goes. We could... You know when I said, what I said about where we parked my car, this is where the bodies were, mm -hmm. I wasn't joking. Well, the car's parked right there. Yeah. That car is parked. Straight the other side. There, wow. Where Mandy said when we parked up. Yeah. Did you really park it up or anything? And there would yeah. be somebody looking out from that window. But the grounds here would extend right yes. past yeah. the houses, new houses there. These have garden parties here mm. in the 19th century. Um, that's such a shame. So, you know, it might go beyond those houses behind. Yeah. Into the road opposite. Yeah, how long it goes, do you? Could be, what, yeah. It could be yes. a mile, right? Yeah. So much land is there. Oh, that's a shame. That's interesting. You said that in the car when we parked up. Just mm. take our word for it, you know. So now in the living room, and uh, we're going to do a little communication circle. And see what happens. Yeah, Mandy actually saw and full apparition right here back in 2010, which is on our video for women. That, one, that one is access from the kitchen. So we used to go into that room all the time, but it's uh, unstable. It's structurally unsafe. Can you do that again, please? That's me. Sorry, the camera wasn't yeah, on. There. We had yeah, two there. taps underneath the table just now, and no one was moving. Come and join us at the circle, either by touching our hands, 
showing us that you're with us in some way. Making a noise on the table. There are people upstairs, I should say, doing vigils. It's mm. okay. Could you give us one bell knock on the table like this? Where are you sensing by the stairs? I don't Where are you sensing by the stairs? Kids again. Oh, kids. Well, kids have been reported on the staircase so many times over the years, so that's very interesting. I don't think it's the same children that were on the top floor, though. It's like they're from another. Mm. Well, we've got time. hundreds of years of layers here, so it could very well be from another era. We've moved on to a little GoPro night vision camera. What are we being drawn to? Right up. There's, right there. Yeah, it's like there's a little face. But you can't actually see it. No, no. Kind of. Was it like a child? Yeah. I'm just going to say that. Yeah. Right? yeah. Go for it. Lots of times we've seen people at the top of these stairs have been seen. But there's no way it can be a child. Flash. It's like this just goes round. Like. Yeah. There's nothing in yeah. here. Mm. Our night at Wimmering Manor drew to a close, and it was fantastic to return to one of our favourite locations. The following week allowed us to review data and reflect our own thoughts on the investigation. A lot of potential EVP was captured and analysed by Tim Brown and indeed some odd sounds and replies can clearly be heard. I'm going to fight down the end here. Can you throw it back? The sound in the cellar was very unusual as nothing was heard when we were filming. I deliberately do not caption what we think we hear as this might influence your own conclusion. What do you think? Although nothing occurred with the Connect experiment, this is something I'd like to do more of in the future. It was a real pleasure to team up with the pigs, and like us, they're not interested in thrills or scares, but obtaining a collection of data that can be rationally analysed as potential unexplained activity, which complements people's own experiences. And indeed, to this end, we have more joint investigations planned with them. Wimmering Manor is a fascinating building to investigate with like-minded people and is a jewel among the many historic buildings in the city of Portsmouth.